Hi everybody, in today's video we're going to be learning how to do an intro on Keynote on the MacBook. And yeah, so I just open it up and delete the text box that I don't need, make my own text box, um, um, change the font around, I use code bold which is my favorite font, I'm not sure why, I just really like it. And then yeah, change the size and color, move it around. And then I go into animation and switch it to typewriter so that it looks like really cool, I think. And I adjust the speed. First I put it down but it went too fast so then I upped it a little bit. And it went slower and more in tune of what the vibe I was going for. Then I open up some pictures that I wanted to include in it. And you just like, I would just drag them over but you can copy and paste them. That's how I got the... Uh, little logos from all the social media I just copied them from Google and then pasted them and then I just rearranged everything because I wanted one more picture so I switched the size made them a little smaller And then I went to animation and switched the build in, which is how it's going to appear on the blank screen. And I just switched them all to the same and I upped this or I decreased the speed, well, decreased the time, which made it go faster. And then you just, there's a little button that's not on the screen. I don't know why it's cut off, but it's like build order and that's just showing you what order things are going to come in. So I just click the first one and say click automatically and then everyone below I just click um, come in after the one before and then for the little icons at the bottom I just made those come in with the one before so they all came in at the same time. Then you hit preview just to test everything out and if you like what you see, you can leave it be and if you don't, you can always go and change things around. See here I'm decreasing or increasing the speed that it comes in at so that it goes faster but like I've actually sped up the whole video because this part was boring and lasted too long so I just rearranged everything, kept trying different things and made everything smaller and more minimalist. And then when you want, when you're happy with what you have, then you do the build out, which is how it's going to leave the screen. And I just made everything disappear, but this time I wanted all the pictures to disappear at once, all the icons to disappear, and then I wanted the Shanbon part to leave. See, so yeah, I'm just speeding everything up here. And make sure you scroll down to the bottom because that's where all of the new build-ins because I accidentally did it on top and I screwed everything up so just scroll to the bottom of the screen and new things will appear so here I just put um, like leave with the one above it And also I delayed the first one for like two seconds I think so that it would start like so that you could actually see everything all on the screen for a few seconds. But I didn't want it to be too long. So I'm just testing things out. I accidentally screwed one thing up but it's an easy fix. You just, I just hit with instead of after. No, I hit after instead of with. I don't know what I did. Whatever I did, it was not correct. So that's a little delay of two seconds. And I just did a build out of typewriter again so that it would be the same way it came in for the text. And I just did um, a wipe, or no. I did that for when it came in. That's also just disappear for all the little icons. And then I moved Shim onto the bottom because I wanted that to be on the screen for the longest and be the last thing to leave. So yeah, I just preview it and then I was pretty happy with how it came out. I think I switched something. Oh yeah, the delay. I made it a little... I don't know if I made it longer or shorter. I can't see. So 
So when you're happy, you just save and export it to movie file. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just drag it into, well, whatever you use. I use iMovie. So you just drag it in there and there you go. It's really easy to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, yeah, see you on my next one.